So a warm welcome back to our eye ornament drawing tutorials. Today I want to speak about a feature that is not yet available in the current version of eye ornament, but will be a feature of the next release you will get. It's about deformations of ornaments uh, to, uh, well, patterns that mathematicians would call hyperbolic geometries. And I want, as usual, explain from scratch what is going on. And for that, let me once more just uh, go back to what we have here, erase everything, go to a uh, black background and uh, draw a very simple geometric pattern. So let's choose a fourfold symmetry and uh, well, let's just do anything here uh, once more. It's not about art, it's about the principles of the app here. And uh, so we have some basic pattern here. And uh, now we go to symmetry mode. And uh, if you extend the symmetry mode in the next version that will be available on the App Store, you will have this new menu item deformations. And the first one here will be so called hyperbolic deformations. And uh, it somehow takes your ornament and puts it into a circle. Now, don't be confused. What you see here is not a ball. Uh, it's in a, in a certain mathematical thing, really the opposite of a ball. It is a so-called space of negative curvature. You don't have to know about that, uh, but you have to know how to play with that. And for that, you have these sliders here. And you see these sliders here, they change uh, the number of uh, rotations that are effective in the centers of rotation. So here, for instance, let me mark it in a different color here. In this center here, you have a fourfold rotation now and this four here corresponds to this slider and you can make it a five-fold rotation, a six-fold rotation and so on and the entire pattern smoothly changes accordingly. And here you have a three-fold symmetry in it and you can turn that into a four-fold symmetry and play around with the different possibilities that you get here. There's even the possibility to change the role of the center. So you can put different rotation centers in the symmetry of the ornament. Even more, you can say, I want to move my ornament uh, and then you can position whatever you want in the center, but you can also recenter everything. Uh, so you see, it's a whole new world that you encounter here. And I want to show you even a little more about that. Uh, so actually, mathematically, uh, this is a deep and complicated thing uh, to do these kind of deformations. And I'm really proud to have a version of that inside I ornament. Uh, it's actually research work involved here. Uh, but here you see you can even deform to other shapes. So you can, for instance, say, I want to have what I've just drawn, uh, not in a circle, I want to have it on a square. And uh, so the square very nicely goes together with a fourfold or an eightfold symmetry. So let me just experiment a little with that. So let's take a fourfold symmetry in the main center and you see it extends nicely to the boundary. By the way, you may have recognized this. You still and always can draw in the deformed pattern. Uh, and here you see even more possibilities. Here you see a deformation in something that could easily be used as the back of a card deck. Or if you want to prepare something for Valentine's Day 2021, uh, then you can even create hearts with that. Uh, I think that's something to look forward to. I'm really looking forward to that feature. I will do my best to have it out as soon as possible. And uh, hope you enjoyed that as much as I do. And see you in our next tutorial. Uh, keep on doodling and I will just draw a little bit in my heart like. Mm -hmm.